the Netherlands. Here comes Lee Chong Wei, I'm Jill Clark, and alongside me as always is uh, former world number one, Morton Frost. And of course, for both these players, they've had a day's rest because they played their first round matches on Monday. Draw of 64 really sort of lends itself, or oh, you can't play one round of of all five disciplines on the first day with only four courts in action. So it's inevitable that some will have to play on the Monday and then a day's rest. A bit like tennis, isn't it, Morton? It is. And uh, it's just a huge tournament and it's always good to see uh, so many players taking part in the World Championship and coming from so many different countries as well. Yeah, it really is wonderful, isn't it, that they all come together, this one event. So Lee Chong Wei, the number one seed, the three times medalist at World Championships. The last two World Championships, a silver medal. Lost out on both occasions to Lin Dan of China, the same man that he lost out to in two consecutive Olympic Games. Lin Dan won the world title, of course, in Guangzhou, and not here to defend his title. Dieter Dormka, 27 years of age, born in Kostanaya in the in Kazakhstan, northern Kazakhstan, but represents Germany now. One meter 98, so that's just under six foot six. Dormka, 43 in the world ranking. As we look at our court officials, but the German, what a magnificent win for him in the very first round because he beat Kashyap Parupali of India, who very recently won the gold medal at the Glasgow Commonwealth Games. This is the third meeting between the two players. The last time they met was in the Sudaman Cup, the World Mixed Team Championships. Two straight games then. First time they met, incidentally, was in the World Championships in Hyderabad. So 2009, that also two straight games but for Dormka his win against pa Kashyap Parupali yesterday he had to save three game points in the opening game before winning it 26-24 13-21 21-18 in the decider so an hour and seven minutes Ali Chong Wei far more convincing in his match against Li Dong Kyung from Korea 21-11 21-12, and we had the pleasure of watching that one, didn't we, Morton? Yes, we did, and obviously it was hugely important to see his first match and to uh, see how he's getting off uh, to a start in this World Championship, and obviously everybody expects him to win, and he's the, the big, big favourite, but will he win? That's what we all talking about isn't it well it's what everybody wants to it's the big story isn't it coming into these world championships not only can this man finally win a gold medal but with 18 medals in total for malaysia from world championships but never a gold can malaysia finally and of course finals day is malaysia independence day 31st yeah, yeah what a oh, clash and what yeah. an opportunity yeah <laughs> Well, he's openly stated as he left Malaysia to come to these World Championships, he'd love to win the gold medal on the 57th Malaysia Independence Day on Sunday. And on my left, Lee Chong Wei, Malaysia. Dieter Dom to serve. Logo, play. So the German very tall man nearest to us against the world number one and do not underestimate the german at all he's very awkward to play given his height and he's a very very good player and he's in tremendous form coming into these world championships his last two tournaments he's reached the final of both winning one of them one in russia at the white knights event and was beaten finalist in Brazil. So a man in good form. In contrast, we don't really know what the form of Lee Chong Wei is, do we? Because he's had this thigh injury. Struggled to get back to full the fitness in time for these World Championships. 
Yeah, and I, I also think that you have to take into account when you, you look at the last uh, time they played, Li Jiangwei won 21-18, 21-18. But that's pretty close. It's very close. In, in, uh, in the Thomas Cup, which also means a lot to Malaysia. And they got to the final, and uh, Li Jiangwei played a very, very good Thomas Cup campaign. So 18-18 mm. and 18 is, is a good score. And that's a delightful drop. For being 198 high, or what was this close to six point six, uh, six foot six? Six foot six, just under. I think he moves really well on court. He's quick on his feet, and combined with um, obviously a fantastic reach and uh, the physicality. He's a strong player. Yeah. He hits well. He's awkward to play. He likes to attack. He he's not easy. Nobody likes to play him. No. Oh, it's a lovely disguised drop shot again. And just to emphasize your point, Morton, I remember the European Championships in Kazan mm. earlier this year, when in the round of last 16, he played it against the man who is the number three seed here in these World Championships, Jan Jorgensen, who went on to win the gold medal. But Dito Dormka was 15-7 up in, in the third, third yeah. and in fact had three match point opportunities at 2017 and somehow Jan Jorgensen came through to win that but that's an indication of just how good he is this tall German mm. yeah, I agree good statistics here Initially, I was going to say, Morton, that it was a nice backhand from Dornka, that one there. But, of course, then he did leave himself the full diagonal of the court to cover. But I think Chang Wei is, is, um, is playing a good, clever game plan here. I don't know if you, you noticed, uh, obviously, it's still very early days, it's just 7-2, but he's, he's been able to move Domke very much forward you know these drop shots are very very short and the, the blocks and all that very short we see him on occasions when he's hitting hundred percent but the winners he's playing are the short the sharp the crisp the the short ones yeah and that's where he wins and he's done that really well a2 up now already yeah And that's another example exactly it, it didn't work obviously as well as some of the others but still enough no. but the fact that he's able to make the cord as big as possible is making a huge difference well we've all posed the question after the Injury worries and Li Chong Wei having to pull out of the Commonwealth Games, whether he would be sharp and fit for these world championships. Certainly the way he started this match has answered a lot of doubters. Yeah, oh, that's good. nice. Yeah. Well, that's first time Li Chong Wei is not getting the racket to the shuttle. Completely wrong footed here.
So an eight-point advantage to the number one seed, Lee Chong Wei, at the mid-game interval. Su Bok, his coach. Is that Hendrawan? That's Hendrawan from Indonesia. Yeah. The former world champion from Madrid, I think. No, it was Seville, 2000, Seville. 2001. Okay. But it was Spain, that's as much as I remember. Yeah. yeah. He was a very, very good player, Hendrawan. And he secured the, the Thomas Cup for Indonesia on a number of occasions in, yeah. in that time. 11, 3, play. position. I suppose that goes down most definitely as an unforced error from Lee Chong Wei. Good to see he is human after all. Yes. <laughs> Good. Yeah. And that's what, where you really have to watch out now and again. And when you play a player like Lee Chong Wei, you play a good attacking shot. It's tempting what Domke is doing here, but Chong Wei is ready for the counter attacking. You have to be very sharp to get these ones down. Judgment. Well, he's mixed it up so well, hasn't he, Lee Chong? Where you were mentioning earlier, Morton, about the the angled shot he was using to win the rallies, the steepness and mm. and the little drop shots there, unle unleashing the big smash. Yeah, it's just a very, very good variation. And and obviously, what I like a lot when I'm watching Chong Wei is that uh, when he's playing attacking buttons and. I think he, he's just so good. Yeah. And the thing for me is that he must continue doing that, even though sometimes, you know, he's up against good defence and all that. I still believe that the best way for him to play is still maintaining that attacking play, despite the fact that he's got to work a little bit harder to get them down now and again. Well, given that he's now 31 years of age, in fact, will turn 32 in a couple of months' time. 
perhaps the uh, the style of play that you want will necessitate perhaps slightly fewer tournaments throughout the year so that he can play that attacking style when he's in a tournament a competition mode he has uh, he has been a great ambassador fantastic oh, yeah. asset to badminton mm. and he has played so many tournaments yep flying the flag for malaysia for badminton mm. in almost every single tournament he's supposed to play yeah and uh, I can easily see him playing a little bit fewer tournaments, but he can maintain the pace and everything. He is still so quick. Yeah. And uh, if he can stay injury free, that's that's always the case. Can he stay injury free? I think he's got uh, some good years in him left. And uh, 2016 in, in Rio is definitely not uh, out of reach. Oh, definitely not. And we, no. I mean, you look at his record this year, seven tournaments, six finals, winning four of them. No. You know, there's a very good reason why he's number one in the world. And, and people, you know, there's this horrible thing in sport that certainly when you reach the big 3-0, age of 30, and everybody yes. says you passed it. Yes. You know, he's playing great badminton. But whether he can continue to play as many tournaments each year as he has done in the past. Uh, but he has supported so well, so he's oh, allowed yes. to not to. Yeah, exactly. And not all players have supported the Super not Series. Not in the same way. Not at all. He, no. I, I agree with you. I think he's been a great now, ambassador. Eddie, number two. Ben great Stone. asset to the sport, as you say, Morton. Please go. And that's why on a sentimental level, so many people are saying, will Lee Chong Wei finally win gold at the World Championships? He deserves it. <laughs> but we don't really play with that, do we? <laughs> but uh, I think that's what everybody is thinking, not only yeah. the two of us, but uh, the whole badminton community. Yes. You just never know what happens in sport, do you? Who would have thought that Manchester United would be beaten 4 0 yeah, by that. MK Dons? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I didn't see the match, but I saw the score. Yeah. And uh, there are definitely people in Manchester at the moment not feeling too well. <laughs> Well, people in Malaysia will be feeling very well if Lee Chong Wei can close out this opening game. And indeed, the match to book his place in the third round. Well, we can't jump ahead of ourselves. Nope, we never do that, do we? Only nope. me. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, I do. Sometimes I stick my neck out and uh, predict and get most of them right, but uh, not all of them. That's landed in. And this time, a new well, Chong Wei converts. 21-12 confirms the umpire. Yeah, Dornka knew as soon as that landed that was going to be cool good. No need, no need to use the, the challenge system. No. No, not when you're so far down either. No. Their confirmation, 14 minutes for the opening game for Lee Chong Wei. <laughs> Look, he's, he's absolutely dwarfing the uh, coach there, <laughs> Ji Yong Wang. <laughs> what a word. That was a new one for me. <laughs> he's towering above them. <laughs> dwarfing. Well, he looks awfully calm at the moment, doesn't he, Lee Chong Wei? And I think we, we talked about his match yesterday, didn't we, Morton, and said, you know, it's so important for him to get off to a good start and uh, just calm the nerves, having been out with injury. And the last tournament he played, he lost in the semi-final in the Indonesia Premier Super Series. And to me, he looks 
completely different today. He looks more confident and but more at ease with himself. The first match is always difficult. Mm. You know, you can talk to anyone who played badminton on a high level. Win the first match, get into the tournament, everything is good. Yeah. <laughs> I spoke to Jan Jorgensen here Second earlier game. this afternoon and uh, he said, oh, I, I got into this tournament well, I've got a few good matches here, I'm into it now, it's, it's okay, mm. I'm more relaxed, it's, it was nice mm. to have them. Yeah. He wasn't really pushed in the first two rounds, so let's see how it goes. the winner. Yep. Yeah, it's difficult for such a tall athlete to defend the body smash. Yeah, yeah and he was out of position. Yeah. was that my goodness me that was a very fine example of covering the net yeah that's what i'm always asking my players to do and uh, that was a textbook one really quick it's gone wide Total that Lee Chong Wei has been the number one seed at World Championships. Oh, that's a good smash. We've been trying to find out, haven't we, Morton, the number of weeks in total that Lee Chong Wei has been world number one. Nobody seems to be able to tell us. No, we, we can't really find it in the history books and in the system. It, it's interesting because I'd love to compare it with uh, yeah, with tennis, tennis, golf. Total number of weeks. Yeah, you can you can talk about weeks. Obviously, Lindan at uh, some stages has overtaken him. I think on not on total number. Not on total number. No, no Lee Chong Wei is definitely definitely more. Then it, it must be. Six years or something like that. Mm. Uh, building up to the London Olympic Games, Lindan overtook Lee Chong Wei as world number one. But yeah, that was six years ago. Yeah. Service over. Six, four. 
It would be a very interesting statistic. Mind you, there was a squash player, wasn't there? Oh. Yahanga Khan. He was Khan. about seven years as well. Pakistan. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to have to work that out, Morton. Just go into the history books. If we can find it. his movement when he goes back in court, the Malaysian gets behind the shuttle. Ben. Oh. This is impressive, isn't it? <laughs> You've just, you're sitting there with a smile on your face. I am. I am. Um, yeah. I think it's the same whenever you watch anybody that's just so good at whatever they do. They make it look so easy, don't they? Whether it's sport or a musician. I mean, he, he's he's so quick on his feet. Oh, look at that. Then, Seven point advantage at mid game interval. Growing in confidence for yeah. every shot he's playing. Yeah. Tomge hasn't really got what it takes today to, to add on the pressure on Li Chong Wei. And I'm sure he's 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 cursing his draw. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the fact that he, he, as we were said earlier, he, he's a good player and uh, anywhere else in the draw he could he could make some serious damage. Yeah. This is fourth world championships. Three times he's lost in the first round. And this is the second time that he's reached the second round. The last time was last year in Guangzhou when he lost out to Nguyen Tian Min, who went on to take a bronze medal, first ever bronze medal for Vietnam. Yeah. So he's running into the people in form. Mm. Almost as if you can visibly see the belief and the will being drained from the German. But I also think we see a, a Li Chong way that really means business. Oh my goodness! Well, you even make contact with that. Mm. I agree. Thank you. I think we really see some clear signs here. Yeah. saying to himself, what on earth have I got to do to win a rally? That's what he's thinking. Yeah. He, don't, he doesn't know how he's going to win the points. And he's whacking his brain. He said, OK, what, what can I do? And this is very easy and simple to see. But it's very understandable. Mm. He's got a good, powerful smash. He doesn't get one down. Yeah.
10 point advantage now to Lee Chong Wei. Forward for that one. Almost a, a double action on the backhand here to. Uh, comes next. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah. Well, it's a sign of his confidence, I suppose, Lee Chong Wei, but. It is. It's a good shot that was just played from a too low position. Had it been a little bit higher, could have been a more effective. Yeah, that's in. Seven. from the front of the court and Donker just couldn't get the shuttle away. little story I've never told before. Go on, then. Um, I was, of course, in charge in, uh, in Malaysia in, from 1997 till 2000. And uh, Li Wei was into the junior program. And one day, my, my good friend, uh, former world number one, former world champion Fleming Delfs, came to visit me in, in Kuala Lumpur. And I, took him to BAM, the Bampton Association in Malaysia, and just looking at the setup and the training and all that. And uh, it was just one afternoon and he came and he pointed out, who's that guy? Who is Look, he? Looking at Lee Chong Wei. And then he was saying, I said, oh, that's Lee Chong Wei, and he will be good. Mm. It's quite funny, isn't it? Yeah. But he could spot it as well. Straight away, he saw yeah. it, he said, who's that guy? Yeah. It, it is amazing, and of course, just... Uh, you said that Fleming Delft's former world champion, of course, he won the first ever world championships in Malmo in 77. Yeah. It's fascinating because people have asked me in the past, you know, what is it when you look at a youngster that mm. you know they're going to be good? And I'm not sure that you can de define it, but you no. can recognize it. You can see it. Yeah. You can see how many departments is working well and uh, if we say that you've got to have 10 departments, have you got eight good ones, two bad ones, or mm. uh, what does it look like? The yeah. whole package. Yeah. Well. Oh, good flick serve. So match points have arrived. Just 30 minutes of play. Well, the luck of the net cords. Ah. <laughs> Lee Chong Wei. Well, was it luck or was that practice skill? Certainly the way he finished it off with the final kill from the net, I can tell you that was practiced skill.
umpire confirms the score 21 12 21 9 as the match clock stops at just 31 minutes look at that just brushing across the feathers to control it and make sure he didn't fault as he's he was getting, banging. doing Oof. a good job of getting that one back yeah oh how casual <laughs> Follow up. Yeah, follow up. <laughs> That's what you always say. Yep. Wonderful performance uh, from Lee Chong Wei. Their confirmation 21 12, 21 9. And he's through to the third round of the World Championships. So with the number one seed, world number one, Lee Chong Wei, safely through to the third round. Two very good matches from him so far. We turn our attention next to women's singles, and it's the European champion and number nine seed, Carolina Marin, from Spain, up against Malaysia's Ti Ying Yi. Now, this, the women's singles draw, this is actually the bottom half of the draw. And you can see that the former world champion, Wang Yihan, the number three seed, of course, she was world champion in London in 2011. She's already beaten the European silver medalist, Anatia Madsen of Denmark. So will she play in the third round? Uh, either the European champion, Carolina Marin, or T. Jin E. We are about to find out. So here comes T. Ying Yi, 23-year-old from Penang. And here the left-handed Spaniard, 21 years of age. Set the badminton world in Europe alight uh, when she met her compatriots in the final of the European Junior Championships.